In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father John Paul Guenafe. Let us go to the altar of God, the God of our gladness and joy. Let us enter the courts of the house of the Lord, and sing to the glory of God. Give praise with blasts of trumpets, with noble sound of the horn, with the clash of the clanging cymbals, give glory to the Lord. Let us go to the altar of God, the God of our gladness and joy. Let us enter the courts of the house of the Lord and sing to the glory of God, and sing to the glory of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang gabi ho sa inyong lahat. Magandang gabi din po, Father. Patuloy ho tayong manalangin sa ikapupuksaan ng coronavirus, sa protection nating lahat, lalo tigit ang ating mga medical frontliners, at para sa kagalingan ng mga tinamaan ng COVID-19. My dear sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Amen. 
Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and honor, peace, honor, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks. For your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth is on earth, peace to people of good Together with the Our Lady of Antipolo, let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. In your observance of the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin upon you, you shall not add to what I command you, nor subtract from it. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give you evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations who will hear all of these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? 
or what great nations has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. The one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Whoever walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. The one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the probate is despised, while the honors those who fear the Lord. The one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Who lends not his money at usury, and accepts no bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things, shall never be disturbed. The one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. James. Dearest brothers and sisters, all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the fathers of light with whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by change. He willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of firstfruits of his creations. Humbly welcome the Lord that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. By doers of the word, and not hearers only, deluding yourselves. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained by the world. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, O oh Lord, our spirit and life, you have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed. The purification of cups, of jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, Why do your disciples 
not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands. He responded, Well, did Isaiah prophesy about you, hypocrites? As it is written, These people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition. He summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. From within people, from their hearts, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, envy blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within and they defile. My dear sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Isang magandang gabi ho sa inyong lahat. Magandang gabi din po, Father. Pakibati naman ho, pakigising ang mga katabi, pakibati ng good evening. Pakisabi nga ho ng lahat, sabay-sabay tayo, salamat sa Diyos. Matatapos na naman ho ang buwan ng Agosto, sa kabila ng problema, sa kabila ng krisis na kinakaharap natin, nandito pa rin tayo makakasurvive, makakatawid na naman sa panibagong buwan. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Sa mga nakikiisa ho sa atin through live streaming mas sa Facebook at sa YouTube, magandang gabi ho sa inyo, naway lahat kayo ay nasa mabuting kalagayan. Mga kapatid, ayon daw ho sa medisina, di ko alam kung tama yung nabasa ko, ang tao kaya nalang mabuhay after 20 minutes without a heart. Tayo daw ho mga tao, 20 minutes na lang ang itatagal kapag nawala ang puso, kapag tumigil ang puso. Di ho ba, napag-aralan naman natin sa science. Una, maapektuhan ang pag-circulate o yung pag-ikot ng dugo sa katawan. At kapag naapektuhan yung pag-ikot ng dugo sa katawan, magloloko yung mga organs, yung mga internal organs katulad ng kidney, liver, at hanggang sa utak. At kapag nagsimula ng masira ang iba't ibang organ sa katawan, ibig sabihin, unti-unti na ring mamamatay ang tao. Nagsimula sa puso, naapektuhan ng ibang bahagi, ikinamatay ng tao. Ganon kahalaga ang puso para sa atin. Kaya after 20 minutes, kapag wala na ang puso, patay na tayo. Pero bakit ganon? Marami sa atin hanggang ngayon buhay pa. Marami sa atin hanggang ngayon humihinga pa. Marami sa atin kumikilos pa, nakaagalaw pa, maayos pang tingnan. Marami sa atin buhay pa, pero wala namang puso. Nakakasalumuha mo, nakakausap mo ng harapan, pero ang totoo, wala namang puso. Mga kapatid, sa mabuting balitang narinig ho natin ngayong linggo, ipinapaalala ho sa atin ng Panginoong Hesus ang kahalagahan ng puso. Narinig ho natin, kinakastigo na naman ng Panginoon ng mga kontrabida sa buhay niya, ng mga pariseyo at mga eskriba. Bakit ho? Sabi sa mabuting balita, narinig natin, nakita ng mga pariseyo at mga eskriba, yung ibang alagad ni Hesus, hindi naghugas ng kamay bago kumain. Alam naman ho natin, mga kapatid, na sa mga hudyo, napakaraming ritual, napakaraming batas, napakaraming alituntunin. Ultimo yung normal na paghuhugas ng kamay, ginawa nilang batas. Okay naman sana, wala namang masama kung talagang parte ng kultura at tradisyon, kung talagang parte ng iniutos ng mga matatanda. Ang kaso nga lang, sa dami-dami ng sinusunod nilang mga batas at alituntunin, Nakalimutan nila kung ano yung mahalaga 
at dito sila buneltahan ng Panginoong Hesus. Sa dami-dami ng alituntunin, nakalimutan nila kung ano ang tunay na mahalaga, puso, pagmamahal, pag-ibig sa kapwa. Kilala naman ho natin yung mga pariseyo noon ng, ng panahon ng ating Panginoon, sila ay sumusunod sa napakaraming batas, napakaraming alituntunin, pero walang pagmamahal. Masuunahin nila yung pagsunod sa malilit na batas kesa tumulong sa kapwa. Masuunahin nila yung, paghuhu, yung tamang paghuhugas ng baso at pinggan kesa maawa sa kanilang kapwa. Mas okay sa kanila, maayos yung paghuhugas mo ng baso kahit inaabuso mo yung ibang tao. Ayun yung binago ng ating Panginoon Heso Kristo. Hindi niya sinabing huwag sumunod sa mga batas sa talituntunin, pero... Laging mas una ang pagmamahal. Laging mas una ang puso. Laging mas una ang pag-ibig sa kapwa. Tayo ho kaya, kamusta yung pamumuhay natin ngayon? May puso pa ba? Maari kasing bumabangon ka tuwing umaga, pero wala ng puso. Maaring nagluluto ka, nagsisilbi ka sa pamilya mo, sa mga anak mo, pero wala nang gumaganang puso. Maaring araw-araw kang pumapasok sa trabaho, pero wala ng puso. Maaring nakikipag-usap ka, nakikisalamuha ka sa ibang tao, pero wala ng puso. Maaring magkatabi kayong mag-asawa mag sa kama, pero wala ng puso. Maaring nasa iisang bubong kayo buong mag-anak, pero walang puso. Ang pinakamalala, Maaring nandito ka ngayon sa simbahan, luluhod, magdadasal, tatanggap kay Kristo, pero wala namang puso. Mga kapatid, katulad ho sa katawan, ang lahat nagsisimula sa puso. Kapag ang puso may deperensya, asahan natin, unti-unting masisira ang ibang parte ng katawan. Ganon din sa ating pagkatao. Kapag binaliwala ang puso, unti-unting masisira ang pagkatao. Kapag hindi mo pinagana ang puso, kapag nawalan ka na ng pagmamahal, unti-unting masisira ang ating buhay. Sisimulan sa pagkasira sa relasyon nating mga magkakaibigan. Tapos sa sariling pamilya, dahil nga wala ng pagmamahal, wala ng puso, ayaw mo nang magmahal, unti-unti ka na maghahanap ng iba, unti-unti ka na magsasawa. Hanggang sa sarili mo na, dahil nga hindi na gumagana ang puso, wala nang dahilan para kumilos pa. Wala nang dahilan para ipagpatuloy pa ang buhay. Unti-unti ka nang mawawala ng gana, wala nang saysay yung pagod mo sa araw-araw, hindi natin namamalayan, nasisira na natin ang ating buhay. Check ho natin yan. Pakitaas nga ho lahat ng kamay, Pakitaas lahat ng kamay, ilagay sa dibdib, may tumitibok pa ba? Meron pa? Kumikilos ka pa ba ng may pagmamahal? O parang robot ka na lang, kumikilos kasi nakaprograma na. Kasi kailangan mo to, kailangan mo mabuhay, kailangan mo maipakain sa iyong pamilya. Pero hindi na sa pagmamahal. Kung ang puso ang bumubuhay sa katawan, puso o pagmamahal din ang bumubuhay sa kaluluwa. Kung ang puso ang nagpapagalaw sa katawan, puso rin ang magbibigay ng kahulugan ng ating buhay. Pag-ibig ang magbibigay ng direksyon sa ating buhay. Mga kapatid, lagi ho nating tatandaan ang sinabi ni San Agustin, Pontus meum amor meus. My weight is my love. Ang timbang ko ay eh kung gaano ako nagmahal. Sa langit, hindi naman titignan kung nakasunod ka sa batas. Hindi naman titignan kung gaano marami mong nagawa sa buhay. Kung ano yung narating mo sa iyong buhay. Sa langit, susukatin tayo, titimbangin tayo sa kung paano tayo namuhay ng may pagmamahal. Titimbangin tayo kung paano tayo kumilos ng may puso. Please all stand.
Together let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Aminin natin minsan napapagod din ang puso, nakakapagod din magmahal. Kaya naman sama-sama tayong humingi ng lakas at inspirasyon nang sa gayong patuloy tayong kumilos ng pag may pag-ibig ng may puso. Together we say, Hear us, O loving Father. Hear us, O loving Father. For Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, priests and deacons, may their way to life and consistent the sacraments they celebrate. We pray. Hear us, O loving Father. For the leaders of our nation, may they put an end in spread of deceit, in hatred, blasphemies, and killings, and may they promote and protect the dignity of the poor and the marginalized, we pray. Hear us, O loving Father. For those who find their life burdensome, may they unite their sufferings and pains with Jesus and be comforted by their families and communities, we pray. Hear us, Hear us O loving, loving Father. Father. For all of our gathered, may we truly offer our full mind and heart to the Lord of part of our true worship. We pray. Hear us, Hear us O, loving o loving Father. Father. For our beloved dead, may the Lord show the great care and raise them up to eternal life. We pray. Hear us, O loving Father. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Hear, Hear us, us, O loving, o loving Father. Father. Father, may we worship you with our whole hearts. Hear the pleas of your faithful people as we promise that the graces we shall receive will always be offered for your greater glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the your King of might and splendor, Creator most adored. Sacrifice we render to the as sovereign Lord. May these our gifts be pleasing unto thy majesty. 
kind from sin release who have offended thee. As now with love most tender, thy death we celebrate. Our lives in self surrender to thee we consecrate. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made. For and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, 
Nuli his auxiliary bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, especially St. John the Baptist, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us call out to the Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, Pope. Take away the sins 
My dear sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Pope Francis, prayer and blessing for the spiritual communion. At thy feet, O my Jesus, I prostrate myself and offer thee repentance to my contrite heart, which is humble and eats nothingness. And in thy holy presence, I adore thee in thy sacrament of life. I decide to receive thee into the poor dwelling that my heart offers thee. While waiting for the happiness of the sacramental communion, I wish to possess thee in spirit. Come to me, O oh my Jesus, since I, for my part, I am coming to thee. May thy love embrace my whole being in life and in death. I believe in thee, I hope in thee, I love thee. Amen. Horatio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady of Peace and Good Voyage, Health of the Sick, pray, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray, pray for, for us. us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calongsod, pray for us. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from heavenly table, we beseech, O Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts, 
and steer us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Birheng Maria ng antipolo kami ay dinggin mo Ina namin minamahal Ituin namin gabal Tulutan mong lumakal 